Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your fast forecast coming to you tonight with episode two of Meet the Org. Uh, tonight we have uh, a very special guest again aboard our RSI Phoenix. If you would introduce yourself and your organization name. My name is Olivia, and I run the Ironbound Defense Organization, and we are just a simple, simple salvage org, and that's it. Salvage org. Salvage. That's all we do here. We're we're anti-combat. Uh, we're pacifists. All we want is to make money, and that's it. So you'd say the main focus of your organization is just making money. That is, well, salvage. That's how we make our money. Salvage. And okay. please, uh, legally, I cannot tell you how we get the salvage. It's not related to any sort of explosions around PO, Grimhex, Airy 18, um, Everest Harbor. Well, as Fast Forecast, uh, and since we're, as you'll notice on your Moby, we are not in comms range of anything, so uh, oh, dude. we don't trade sides. Uh, oh, okay, since that, you know, um, we just blow people up uh, a lot, primarily around PO, Everest Harbor, Art Corp, Microtech. We felt it was important to let you know that this is a uh, non-affiliated space. You don't have to worry about bounty hunters showing up because your uh, Moby does not broadcast out this far. Uh, so, you're safe. I appreciate it, and that's why we appreciate talking with Fast Forecast only because he gives the best news, they give the best news, the best forecast, the most accurate stock prices and economic details for our traders so that we can possibly intercept them and take their stuff. We appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate it. So, uh, how did your organization form? Well, it was just a couple friends and I, and we were really small, maybe three people at this point, and we were primarily doing exploration. and. You know, seeing the sites, doing the new player experience, you know, seeing Microtech, or Microtech wasn't even in at the time. I think Arc Corp was the most recent addition. So we had flown down to Arc Corp, checked out Area 18. I was, I was loving it. My favorite uh, place was Walla, uh, Mining Area 045. Really beautiful mountain range out there. Really recommend people checking it out. Um, it's huge. You could drive a buggy right from 045 up the mountain, right back down. Don't flip it. It's a long walk back. We like 061. It's a really nice landing spot. Really good view. Oh, of course. The whole the whole moon is beautiful. Wonderful moon. Um, if I could build a house there, I totally would. Well, we uh, have inside information that they should be working on that here soon. Uh, may just get your wish. I hope so. We do have questions for our uh, in our organizations that tend to be on the back side of the law. So, mm -hmm. And it uh, happens. It, it does happen because, to be honest, in, during the Imperator races, we did find Senator No and even Crusader Security breaking the law with running Widow, trying to make money with addicting Stanton citizens. Uh, Senator No is still being investigated. Crusader Security lost quite a bit of its leadership. Uh, the Emperor wasn't happy. The new Imperator definitely wasn't happy. So sometimes those in leadership break the law themselves so we don't pass judgment what are your rules of engagement when you ply your trade well we really don't want to just like totally destroy new players experiences because you know that's kind of really important to getting people in the game so usually we leave a lot of these very beginner ships alone such as aurora mrs and any really aurora class vehicle we leave um, most mustangs alone um Primarily all Mustangs alone, unless, of course, these uh, ships uh, engage us first. Sometimes it happens, you know, and uh, we're just trying to make money here. So, as you said, your your main purpose is scrap, not necessarily merchandise that they're carrying. So, any ship is is a free-for-all. Uh, yeah, that is the case. You know, these, you know, the price of wiring has gone up over the shortage um, in travel between Lorville and Arcorp. So wiring is really expensive right now. So these ships usually have 10 to 15 kilometers of wiring that can fetch you easily 200 to 300 K. And you know, we're salvage. You know, whatever happens to be on the ship happens to be on the ship, be it 
you know, miscellaneous trading goods that someone picked up, like, let's say, three SCU of medical supplies from PO and tried to sell it somewhere. And it just so happens that we're perusing the wares of a current location we see him, we're probably most likely going to take those things. Do you give the individuals that you're approaching a chance to buy out? Of course, of course. You know, pirates work with other pirates. You know, we have to have some sort of code of morals, otherwise it ruins the whole experience for everybody. So you don't want to just kill someone without sort of telling them, because we're really here at the end to make money, you know. Hey, 5K for a mining pass. You know, those... Those get kind of expensive sometimes, you know, during peak peak business hours for certain locations. Or, you know, right to travel. Stanton security has been an extreme failure in providing proper security forces for areas. So we have had to, unfortunately, pick up the slack and provide security for these locations. Interesting. This is from a reader, and we were requested to ask this of our pirate organization. Is there honor in piracy? I think some pirates are more honorable than others. I personally would say that Ironbound Defense at least tries to protect the little guy. We're out here trying to really stick it to these bigger orgs that think they're all that because they have six or seven hundred people flying hundreds of millions of credits of worth of ships. and But they really don't have any skill. All they have is these flashy ships to show for it. But they think they're all that. For example, the modern craze of the Vanguard series, having come to the commercial market, has seen a lot of these pilots flying this ship that they see as just a win button, per se. I'm excited for the Scorpius to be released. I'm excited for the Ares. I'm excited for the Redeemer to come into the civilian market. So we can finally stick it to these Vanguard pilots. It's just very frustrating. That actually ties into our next question. How do you handle always being wanted by bounty hunters? You just kill them. Um, I think this is the most simple question. Uh, I appreciate it, and you know, it, uh, but I appreciate the softball. You could have left me alone, but you had to come up here and die. It's such a shame. It's a, it's a horrible waste of life. We can't we can't argue with that. Uh, we tend to go with the uh, pacifist approach because we're here for the story. Understandable. And that's why we like fast forecast on recruitment because after all you are out to make money and the more members you have the more places you can be um what are you looking for in a recruit well we're looking for primarily a personality that's very friendly and just not someone who's very obtuse or aggressive or just people we're just people wanting to work together for a common goal and that's really who we're working for. It doesn't matter your skill level or anything like that. If you want to fly with us, we'll fly with you. Okay. How would someone sign up with Ironbound Defense? Well, we appreciate it. We appreciate the plug, I just want to say. Um, please follow Fast Forecast on Twitter, by the way. That would be pretty dope. So we have a Discord primarily, and that's, that's the main way... We kind of converse and stuff. We obviously have the RSI website, and you can find us at Ironbound Defense. Feel free. We, d we aren't exactly the best at um, receiving messages on the RSI website because it's kind of very clunky at the current moment, but that's to no one's fault. But please feel free to add me on Discord. We will post the links in the description of the video. Or just add me on Star Citizen. Try to shoot me some messages. If you see me in the w verse, dude, Hit me up. Well, with you being a pirate organization, again, making money, and uh, you having multiple members, after a hit or after you collect scrap, what does the split look like? Is there a captain's cut that the captain gets more than the rest of the crew? How does that work? Honestly, I don't believe in any of that. Um, I'm just like everyone else. I think all of everyone um, that's in the leadership positions are just as valuable as our, our lowest ranking individuals. It's all, you know, it's just about, you want to be here, be friends. And we're all split it evenly. I, sometimes I don't even care. Sometimes less. <laughs> we, we won't even get into less, but less, will, less than Ideal 33, by the way. Um, less will sometimes just even forego his cut. And he's kind of one of the more loose cannons of the group. But we still love him because he's a great personality. So even split, that's... 
actually what we're hearing from quite a few pirate organizations. It's only fair. Is they, is they forego the captain's cut and the org cut in order to uh, be fair to their members. That's actually not what we were expecting. That's interesting. What would you say the future goals of the organization are? I would say long term take over a moon. <laughs> I think it's take over a moon or some sort of like single planet system. And here's another goal. <laughs> this is a goal I thought I'd share it with you. Um, I was talking with Les a while ago. But I want to mine 10 clicks around PO. That's ambitious. I think we can do it. I think we could drop 350 billion mines in that area. That's terrifying. Good luck. That's all I say. <laughs> That's especially for the uh, new pilots who uh, are just getting their license at 18 and decide to check out Port Olisar. Uh, that we can't imagine dropping out of quantum and hitting a mine in a uh, Aurora. Well, we believe that instantly we'll be found out, so it'll be a very rushed job. So it probably won't be as ambitious as I told you. Yeah, another goal I kind of had that was during the beginning of this org, and I don't really know how it's going to play out, because it hasn't ever played out in the past, but I want to get, like, an org of orgs, so to speak. And it was like an org of a bunch of smaller orgs that would try to work together, and kind of like... Because we know, you and I both know, don't lie to me, that these large orgs are going to take advantage of their size and try and push out around all the smaller orgs. I, You and I know that. At some point, it's going to happen. And so, we just want to be ready for when we got to throw hands. True. And, uh, honestly, uh, what we've seen is sometimes the even the big orgs with the uh, large pockets, you have small orgs with really great pilots who just chew through their ships. It happens. I don't want to name names, but it happens. Of, of course. We, we won't name names. Um... Uh, we do have one more question, and uh, it'll give you a chance to address some things. Of course. You have supporters and detractors, of course. Is there anything you'd like to say to either side of them? To the supporters, I say I appreciate it. We, we, we are fighting for the same goal, a better verse for all of us, not just the big, the big guys, not just the multi-billion dollar worth haulers hauling from one stop to another making 350k every five minutes you know what about the small guys that only have a freelancer that are hauling from walla to art court you know making 35k just trying to survive what about those guys never forget about them and for my detractors hit me up on the verse dude i'm ready that's uh that seems to be what we can keep hearing from uh, our pirate friends that's uh, <laughs> interesting uh, never back down from uh an event. An well, event, yeah. We, we do appreciate you sitting down with us and uh, having this conversation. We appreciate, uh, uh, the whole org appreciates you having me, and I appreciate you talking to us and giving the verse the whole truth, and uh, like showing both sides. Well, that's what we're here for, and we know that, especially for pirate organizations, time is money, so by being here, you're costing yourself and your organization money, so... Again, we thank you, and from all of us here at Fast Forecast and from Ironbound Defense, we wish you a good night.
it's just like he uh, engaged. Yeah, and and also Bro, they sound like they're bad. I just game. ran at Mach nine. <laughs> yeah, good shoot. Okay, this is what happened. I hit the ground running uh, at, at EV. I literally ran Mach three from one end of the giant pad to the doorway and have a second. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit! I think I recorded that. <laughs>